Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? Hopefully, everybody's having a good day, night, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Um, oh, the customer build that I'm working on, the customer had sent me a kit of RAM that he's looking to use in his build. Um, well, he actually wants to use another kit, but he hasn't found the kit yet. So, uh, he actually sent me this kit of Trident Z uh, DDR5 uh, RAM. Um, not a bad kit. But um, nonetheless, um, he actually decided that he wants to water cool the RAM because, I mean, overall, it's going to fit with his build. And what I did is my old water block, I actually sold him, I actually took and um, sold him my old, my old RAM water block since I have the uh, Iceman's Direct Dye water block for the RAM. I sold him my old, uh, I want to say Binsky's water block. So pretty much what I'm going to take and do here is I'm going to pretty much do a video on uh, taking the heat spreaders off the RAM and installing a RAM stick in the in the water block or, or yeah on, on the heat sink and yeah so that would pretty much be that and uh, what, what I also got to take and do too is spoiler I did one RAM stick already um, I took one apart already just to see how I'm going to go by doing it. And the the, uh, the the customer also stated he wants me to pop off the, the RGB LEDs because, well, once it's in the water block or once it's in the heat sinks, you're not going to see it anyway. Plus, he doesn't care for the RGB on the rim anyway. So with that being said, I'm going to take and jump right in and show you how to do this, which is the easiest way to take and do it is is I've only got to heat up this side of the heat sink, which is just down here on the bottom because how it's actually held on is the thermo strip is actually thermal tape double sided and it goes right along the bottom part here so all I gotta do is get the, get this warm enough and this will peel right off but obviously you want to be gentle doing that and the back side here there's there's no memory chips at all so you just heat this up and pop this off as well but the foam tape on this end is gonna I gotta take off because if you take and you look at the back side of the heat sink for the water block it's already got the little um, the little space there the indentation um now to give you a heads up when you buy these when you buy these these water block kits they do not come with this uh heat they, they do not come with this um um this thermal pad here for the for the power control for the power control module on the stick i actually applied this um thermal strip when i use this myself so yeah i'm just going to include this for the customer as well but uh oh yeah and there's the other piece so without further ado why don't we take a while don't we get into this this is pretty straightforward so it's a matter of just warming it up and it's this side that i want That should be warm enough now. And with that being said, I get my little tweezers in here. Uh, actually, I'll get this in here and I will start popping this cover off. Just got to find that sweet spot where it gives in. There we go. Got it. Once I start getting it, I just start working it. I'm not using a lot of force at all. I'm gently, as you can see, I'm gently doing it, letting it pop itself apart. And this piece of plastic here doesn't really mean anything at all. That just pops right off. As you see, I'm letting it do it, do it itself. And I'm being careful with it because this double-sided tape, I'm going to reuse this on the, the uh, water block, the heat sinks. Now how this is going to work, I'm going to take this right away since it's still warm. And I'm going to just be very gentle because this stuff is extremely sticky. And I'm going to be very gentle. I'm going to just peel it right off. Just 
just like that. And what I'm going to do in the case of the RAM is so that way everything stays lined up. See how sticky it is? It doesn't even want to come off the tweezers. I'm just going to jump it right over to the RAM stick, which is just like this. Bang, the transfer is done. That's that. And then now I just got to get the back side off. Oh, I can actually get this heat sink out of the way. And the heat sink and that piece of and the plastic RGB thing, I'm actually going to hang on to that because I'm actually going to be sending that back to, to the customer. Yep, which it is. Hoo -hoo, that's a, that's quite warm. Then again, let it do its let it do the work, and just gently pop it off. This foam here, I'm not going to keep. So this comes the fun part. This part always point blank sucks. <clears throat> There's no easy way around it. I'm gonna go to the trash really quick and just do this quick because I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me doing this on video, so just give me a moment. I'm just using my finger and rubbing it off. Be back in a moment. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, you just want to get the bulk of it off. I said realistically, you ain't got to go crazy with it. You just want to get the bulk of it off. But the other stick that I had already did, which is down here, I'm going to jump to this one. Because now I'm going to take and show you on these, R on these RGB lights, the easiest way to pop these off, which you just got to be very, very careful when you're doing it. Just take and get a pair of pliers. Just be very careful. I'm barely even going to grab onto the, I'm barely even, I'm barely even going to grab onto the LED. And just give a slight twist and you'll, you'll actually feel it pop. And then once it pops, remove it. And then there you go. Now I just repeat this for each one of these LEDs. It's such a minor pop, you really got to feel for it. And I'm using the corner of the player, so I'm not risking anything on the PCB. There, that one just popped right off. Cool. I forgot these ones on this side. Okay, I got all these. Got to get this one, too. Then I got this one right here. Then all the RGB is removed from the stick. There. Now for those of you, if you guys go doing this and you don't want to take a chance to shorten this out, you can get like a li liquid electrical tape or whatever and put little dabs here so nothing shorts out. Um, nothing will short out if you don't make any contact on anything. But uh, you, you can do that if you want to. Um, and if you 
choose to take and do that, that that's your choice. If you want to throw a piece of electrical tape over that, that's your choice as well. Um, I'm not bothering with it because I mean, I know nothing's going to be wrong with it. It's going to be fine. But pretty much with that being said, it's just going to be a matter of now taking the piece of thermal tape now, applying it to the stick. That's on. And I'm going to jump to the first piece here, line up the edges, drop that down, that's applied. Now I'm going to put this on, now you're going to see just how fast this is. Put that on, put that on, now I'm going to drop the back side on, just like that, and now I just pretty much put it together. The Allen key in, or the Allen screw in, grab the Allen key, tighten it down. Why does this one feel like it's supposed to be smaller? Because it is. I thought it was. That one's snugging in. Time to put this one in. I'm not going to do both sticks on camera. I'm only going to do one because I'm just going to repeat the same thing for the other stick. So. And yes, these Allen keys I will be sending to the customer as well. Because overall, I don't need them because I got my screwdriver set. And these Allen keys do come with the uh, kit, do come with the block when you order it. And pretty much, I'm just gonna put this here like this. Um, yes, you do put thermal paste here or a thermal pad here, and then when you put it down. But I'm not gonna do it right now. Because I'm actually going to be using my thermal putty for it, but as I said, I'm not doing it this second. And yes, the kit does come with the thermal putty, or the thermal pad. And that's pretty much all there is to doing the ram water block. Now how this, well, obviously you'd have this, this one out here towards the side more. So it would actually be technically like that because you got the emblem right there. So it'd be pretty much something like that. But keep in mind when you put on when you put on your 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 water when you put your water block stuff on, make sure that notch, make sure both ram sticks are in that same spot when you put the when when, when you take and you put the ram sticks together, make sure everything is put together the same way. But on on the other side, it's gonna be flipped, it's gonna be flipped around, but the the stick itself is gonna be flipped around inside. So because it's gonna be the opposite, obviously. Uh, because you want to take and you want to make sure that slot is equal on both sides or it's in the same spot on both sides um, but realistically what you want to take and do is um, before you even install the top part of the before you install a wall block install the ramp sticks in the motherboard and if you don't care about that emblem being on the showing then you got to worry about it if you do then obviously you got to make sure that it's on the outside on both sides um, and then when you install the then you install the RAM into the motherboard. Then you put the water block on top of the RAM and then you screw it into place. That's literally all there is to it. And then obviously you put your fittings in and then you fill it with water. But before you put the water block on, you're gonna to wanna to put the thermal pad there. Uh, you can use really any thermal pad you want. I'm gonna use thermal putty and I'm actually gonna show you what, what I've got in the mail. I actually just came in, it is this stuff here. First time I'm ever gonna use thermal putty, never used it before. But it's actually 50 grams at 16.8 kilowatts. Uh, or 16.8 watts of thermal conductivity so um yeah that's pretty much that and that is pretty much how you take and you water cool ram so yeah customer now